Hi friends. Today for a recap, we're going to read a new book. The name of this book is called No Sleep for the Sheep. This book is written by Karen Beaumont. Can anyone tell me what we call the person who writes the words? Good job, it's the author. The person who drew the pictures is Jackie Urbanoffit. What do we call the person who draws the pictures? I heard it. The illustrator, great. Hmm, it looks like this sheep is not having a good day. Let's see what this story is about. No sheep, no sleep for the sheep. In the big red barn on the farm, on the farm, in the big red barn on the farm, a sheep fell asleep in the big red barn, in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud quack at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. He's wide awake now. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the duck at the door, and please don't quack anymore. said the duck in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the duck and the sheep fell fast asleep in their big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud bah! at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. It seems like he keeps getting woken up. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the goat at the door, and please don't ba anymore. Said the goat in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Miss Horton has some rhyming words. Peep and sleep and sheep are all rhyming words. Soon the goat and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Then there came a loud, what do pigs say? <laughs> Oink, at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the pig at the door, and please don't oink anymore. Oink, said the pig in the barn. Shh, not a peek, go to sleep, said the sheep at the big red barn on the farm. Soon the pig and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. Hmm, I see another animal coming soon. Can you guess what animal that is? Hmm, maybe. Miss Horton thinks it might be a cow. What do you think? Okay, let's see. Then there came a loud moo at the door, at the door, and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep to the cow at the door, 
And please don't move anymore. I think the sheep is getting upset. He can't get any sleep. Moo, said the cow in the barn. Shh, not a peep. Go to sleep. Good job, friends, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Soon the cow and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. And there's lots of animals in the farm now, in the barn. Yeah, I see the cow and the pig and the duck and the sheep. Mm, what animal do you think is coming next? A dog, maybe, or a horse? Let's see. Then there came a loud neigh at the door, at the door and the sheep couldn't sleep anymore. Go to sleep, said the sheep, at the door, at the door. And please don't neigh anymore. Neigh, said the horse in the barn. Looks like he wants to play, huh? Shh. Not a peep. Go to sleep, said the sheep in the big red barn on the farm. Hmm. He looks what? How do you think he feels? Angry, good. He may feel upset too, or frustrated. Soon, the horse and the sheep fell fast asleep in the big red barn on the farm. In a deep, deep sleep in the big red barn, in the big red barn on the farm. Wow, look at all the animals sleep in the barn. What do you notice? Is it time to go to sleep? No, it's about to be daytime. Let's see what happens next. Then, Wake up, all of you. Hey, sheep, that means you too. Yeah, it's time to get up. But the sheep slept right through on through, through the nays and the moos and the cockle doo doo doos in the big red barn on the farm. Everybody else looks happy to be up. They are ready. And the sheep is still in the barn sleep. Yeah, he's probably tired. Everybody kept him up. The end. My friends, this book, No Sleep for the Sheep. The sheep was very frustrated and angry that he couldn't get any sleep. Have you ever felt frustrated? Miss Horton was frustrated the other day when I could not get my computer to work. It made me upset. Can you think of a time? I'd love to hear about it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.